So I'm going to launch Photoshop really quickly, and I'm going to create a pretty quick mock-up. You're watching this in about 300% speed, so it took me about three times as long to actually make this, but it's just a real quick mock-up. I would have spent more time if it was a bigger project. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm creating this mock-up in Photoshop specifically to show you how you can pull information in from a PSD file into brackets. I didn't do any sketches ahead of time. I didn't do any wireframes. So at times I'm a little indecisive here and there in this because I'm just doing everything on the fly. But it should be good enough to show at least a basic example of what you can do with brackets and how brackets can help you convert a PSD of a mockup into a fully functioning page. Now it doesn't do everything for you, but it does definitely speed up the process by allowing sort of like code hints from your PSD file. So something important to note, in the PSD file you have to keep everything as separate layers. So in the end I'm going to have numerous layers of the different parts of the site. And that's what Brackets is going to pull the data from. It's going to pull the data from those separate layers. If you merge everything together, if you save it as a PNG or a JPEG on accident, it's done. So you've got to keep it as a PSD. I don't always use folders, but I am going to use folders in this one just to have it better organized because I'm going to end up with quite a few layers here. Once again, I didn't do any planning, so I don't know what font I want. So I'm just trying to find one that I like. Currently this doesn't have many fonts because I haven't finished installing everything onto my onto my newer machine. So I'm gonna do kind of move these around, try to get them the way I want, do a quick command T for transform, get these to be about the same width. And uh, not really quite sure where I want this, maybe in this empty space over here. I'm just trying to get this to look decent for now. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to look like a decent mock-up for, for the next video. So I'm not really spending as much time in the planning or thought process as I normally would, but just enough to make it look like a believable mock-up. I'm going to go ahead and set up my folders now so that way I have stuff organized. And uh, I like to, well, sometimes I like to colorize my folders, so I'll go ahead and do that here. And this will just make it easier as I'm moving things around, as I'm doing things, to not end up with a bajillion layers in my layers palette. I would normally set up a grid system probably at the start, but once again, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. So I'm setting up a very rudimentary grid as I need it. I'm going to do just a fairly basic layout. So just a, a banner here over to the top. Really more of a banner, I suppose. Uh, a menu. We'll put something on the left side as a column. And we'll have a main content section and a larger chunk on the right. And we'll just keep it pretty simple. At this point, the top image is bigger than I originally expected it would be. And that's okay. Uh, that just means I'm going to have to increase the size of my canvas when I get a little bit further in. I'm not really sure exactly what menu items I want to put in here, so I'm just making some up that sound decent for now. Kind of fit alongside some of the content in the JavaScript videos that I've been working on. But really it doesn't matter, it's just for it's just as an example really. Make the canvas bigger. There we go. Put a little area on the bottom just to keep a little space and this will be our sidebar on the on the left 
and a chunk for the rights. Make a folder for that, and we'll make a folder. Well, I'll make the other one in a moment. So, sort of sticking with my my gray color palette. A lot of people seem to find grays boring, but I like them. Um, I don't know. I guess if I was redesigning this, or if I was putting more thought into this, I would probably use a different color palette that would work better for more audiences. But this is just an example, so I'm just going to do what I happen to like. We'll crop that down. So we'll call this a, uh, a picture of me. We'll go with that. Close enough. Just adjust some of the blending options and the layer properties to make it a little less saturated. Don't want to send out so much from the backgrounds. And a few little strokes around. Actually, I'm going to make these styles because I want to apply that to other parts of the page as well. So we'll apply the style to this. And we'll apply the other style to that. Move some of these layers around just a little bit. And uh, we'll go ahead and just put in some dummy text. I could go into Google and uh, search up Lorem Ipsum and stick that in, but I'm just going to make something up. It'd be probably about the same length of time. Uh, maybe not. It'll probably take a little bit longer, but that's alright. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with it since I'm kind of making a pretend mock-up. And we'll tie it into the image that I'm using, so it'll be uh, communication with apes, I suppose. <coughs> I guess it would help if I actually put ape in there instead of monkey. So let's put some contact information in there. So we'll put a, a cell phone number and we'll put a a mailing address I'm just making all this up by the way so none of that probably actually exists just a pretend address in Canberra ACT is Australian Capital Territory if you're not aware it's sort of similar to how uh, America has Washington DC as its own little territory thing but isn't actually a state it's kind of it's kind of similar to that and other countries have similar things as well I know China has a few territories that aren't really provinces but have their own special government administration type setup so we'll go ahead and put just a image up here and uh, we'll pretend that it would go with whatever page they're currently on, I guess the, the home page, so just a little image with a little message to bring people in, I guess, call to action, so to speak. I probably should make it a little bit bigger if I want it to be the call to action, but it's not important right now. Put another little image in here, so maybe this shot. No, I think it's a little, a little too distracting. We're gonna go with this uh, flying fox here instead. I like this one better. I don't want it that big, and I want it to be a square, so I'm going to try to crop it down. So just a quick mask, and that'll work. And then we'll apply the layer style to it. And give it a little of text as well. So just a little bit more dummy text. We'll make this fit with the flying fox here. Just kind of playing around once again. Try to center that out a little bit. 
I'm going to make the canvas a little bit bigger again because I didn't leave room for a footer. Well, I did, but, well, I used it up. So, a little more space, bring another ruler line down, and uh, make a footer. The footer is going to go all the way across the bottom. I don't want to have little margins on the left and right. I do want to have a little bit of a two-tone type appearance, so there we go. And we'll just put in some dummy copyright information. Uh, something like that. There we go. Make it a little bit smaller. It was too big and distracting before. Change the color so it's a little less intense. There we go. I'll try to center that a little bit. So if this is that big, then the center would be here-ish. And uh, that looks pretty decent. I don't quite like the color of this. I'm going to change that. I like that better. Kind of ties in some of the colors from the top. I get a little bit bigger because I don't like the spacing. We'll move this down a little bit. And there we go. I like those gaps a little bit better. And I'll call that done. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a PSD file. Important as a PSD. And we'll continue and actually use that in the next video with brackets.